United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, and indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Hi everyone, um, just a message from me on our uh, Friday announcements, a couple things. Um, number one, I just wanted to respond to those of you who took me up on uh, trying to challenge of, you know, live by grace, not perfection. And um, I responded to all those students that, you know, gave me their take and it was really interesting that some of them uh, found uh, how they were the it pertained to the religious faith, which I thought was very interesting. Um, some of you talked about, you know, that it's not centered, you know, it should be centered in, you know, the frame, which it's not, which is kind of how I always looked at it. But then even some of you connected to the message too, that, you know what, no one's perfect. We do the best we can. And not only do we do the best we can, we have to assume the positive piece that other people are doing the best that they can. And we don't know, we haven't walked in their shoes. So by being, having grace, um, hopefully there's an appreciation of when we're struggling that other people, you know, give us a break in the same thing that we're not so harsh on others and give them a break. Um, upcoming next week is Halloween. Um, and, you know, I know there's been some questions. I just want to clarify. We are going to have our Halloween dress up on Wednesday. Um, so that we can also, you know, our remote students, um, our hybrid students are all going to be able to dress up on Wednesday. So you'll have the ability to have your costume ready to go um, during home base. And then we're also going to have a competition, which we'll be giving more detail through wits, through wits regarding a padlet where if you want to participate in a costume contest, it's not required. You can simply just take a picture of yourself and send it into the padlet. So there'll be more detail re regarding that. And lastly, I just want to say um, another little challenge to you. You know, as you think about this time, you know, we're, we're back. Um, it's been almost the first marking period is over. What goal do you have for yourself? And so here's what I'm going to ask you. If you want to send me the goal that you're looking for and maybe some help that you think I or the school can provide you in obtaining that goal, send that to me. Again, goal that you're looking to do, you know, first almost 10 weeks are down, we're getting close to that. What is your goal for the remainder of the school year and what help would you need? Thank you very much and have a great weekend. Hi Mel, it's Mrs. Weir, your assistant principal with a message about our Willpower logo challenge. As you already know, this is a district-wide challenge and I am so proud of all the students that have already submitted their entries to me. I just want to remind everybody that you'll have until October 29th at noon to email me your logo to be included in this challenge. It needs to use hashtag willpower and it needs to be a positive and unifying theme for the whole Williamsville Central School District as this is a district-wide challenge. So get that su submissions to me so you can be included. Have you ever found yourself in a Google Meet and you just can't unmute your mic? Well, here's a really easy way to do that. This shortcut will save you lots of time and aggravation. Control D. All you need to do is click on Control D and you can mute yourself or unmute yourself. Watch the bottom of the screen right here. Microphone off, Control D, microphone on. Control D, microphone off. Give it a try. I hope that you find this to be a really helpful hack.